In this morning's Health Watch, more germ warfare. Dangerous germs could be hiding where you least expect them. Here's CBS News correspondent Kelly Wallace and professional now germologist. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> it's a title I don't think I'm glad to have. Okay. okay, so it's the things we use the most mm -hmm. that harbor the most germs, according right. to scientists. That makes sense. But the more germs, the more likely viruses are present. So just where are all these germ factories? The answers might surprise you. At a time when germs have us more anxious than ever, we wanted to know where to find them. I think it's like everywhere in your house. Faucets and uh, bathroom. I guess the toilet bowl <laughs> and the sink. Phone booths. Uh, you know. Dr. Chuck Gerba of the University of Arizona is known as Dr. Germ. After conducting more than 7,000 studies, he's found the most germs per square inch are on the things we touch the most. Wait, when did you get there? Number one on that list, the cell phone. More than 203 million Americans currently own one. Earlier this year, researchers published a study that showed 94.5% of cell phones used by healthcare workers had evidence of bacterial contamination. And what we're looking for here is a number less than 100. Armed with his germ meter, which measures the level of surface bacteria, the germinator himself joined us as we asked people on the streets of New York if we could, well, test what they never leave home without. Oh, this Whoa. is really nice. That's a really great cool Huh. Yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah. The first phone was practically germ-free, a BlackBerry. We tried another one. Remember, you want to score under 100. Oh, Mary. <laughs> well, you haven't been talking dirty, that's for sure. Yeah. But then we put this flip phone to the test. I want to get some of this stuff, actually. <laughs> Which happened to be mine. Oh, no, no 261. It's... You won. I won. Gerba says objects holding moisture tend to hold more germs. So where else do our fingers do the walking? At ATMs, which can leave you with more than cash. Wow. Oh, That's you're in the millions. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're in the millions here. The worst here. we've encountered. So. ATMs can be the biggest germ offenders, Gerba says, especially ATMs that are outside of buildings. Right, right here, usually. And where do women put their money after pushing all those buttons? It looks awful clean. Your handbag may actually be a petri bag of germs. You're grinding yeah. through the toilets in New York? Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Exactly. Sydney, New York, Mexico. <laughs> oh, what? We plop them down on the bathroom floor, on the pigeon covered sidewalk, and then. They'll come home from shopping and then they'll stick it right on the countertop and then make lunch. Yeah, this looks bad. And we aren't disinfecting our bags, at least I wasn't, before this. That's the germiest one. You're right, that you're so good at it. That is one of the germiest <laughs> bags. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh yes, time for a new bag. My husband's been urging me to get a new one. I think it's time. But here we want to show you. We mm -hmm. said the flip phone could be the biggest germ of Right, right, okay, right. Okay, here's a quiz for you. Of the BlackBerry or phone with the iPhone-like surface, which do you think could be a bigger germ offender? Maybe they're because there's more creases in this one. Very good. Right, yeah. You know, it's moisture that causes the germs, so mm -hmm. anything that doesn't sort of gather moisture right. would be uh, a good way to go. But if you use disinfecting wipes, you're okay. Very good. Kelly, thanks so much. <laughs>